of my conversations on Capitol Hill, and obviously there seems to be a growing consensus that there might be able to be some progress on the Electoral Count Act. Someone said to me that it could potentially be a vehicle to get preclearance passed. Is that something that this White House thinks is a possibility, is a likelihood? Is that what the President's going to be pushing for? I don't have any prediction of a process uh, or a vehicle. Uh, what I would remind everyone of is that despite the fact that 16 Republicans in the Senate have in the past supported the protection of voting rights, they did not when given the opportunity. Uh, so uh, again, I would note that the, the Electoral uh, Count Act is, is something we we are certainly open to, but it is not a replacement for. And there are many components of the voting rights legislation that are vital to protecting people's rights in this country, You know, including the fact that we know that voter suppression largely impacts communities of color across the country. And one of the components of the voting rights legislation the President's been fighting for is requiring states that have a history of voter suppression to get approval to change their laws. Uh, it also, uh, these, uh, these voting rights legislation that we've been fighting so hard for, would also ensure that there's a fundamental baseline of what people can know and expect. If you're a mother of three, you should be able to have many places you can drop off your ballot or vote. This is not a replacement for that. In terms of a vehicle or what's possible, I don't have anything on that to read out for you. Just very quickly, it seems like there are going to be some discussions um, during break between lawmakers, bipartisan lawmakers, about the Electoral mm -hmm. Count Act and where they can find consensus on this. What can we expect the president's role to be, given that he's been very clear he is going to be taking a new strategy as it relates to reaching out to the American public? Well, the president can walk and chew gum at the same time. I think what people can expect is that he's going to spend more of his time engaging with, talking with the American people and talking about how far we've come and where we need to go from here. He also has a very talented and experienced team that's already engaged in a range of conversations with Congress. Uh, but I can tell you from spending a lot of time uh, with the president and in, his, in the Oval Office with him that sometimes he just picks up the phone and calls a member of Congress or a senator when you're sitting there. So no one's suggesting that he's not going to engage with members. What we're conveying and what you heard from him the other night is that uh, as you look at the time he's going to spend over the next couple of months, it's not going to be hours and hours behind closed doors in the Oval Office. Go ahead. Thank you, Jen. Um, why would